Hi, I'm Jonathan. This is our Dumbo studio, and uh, today's video is a little different. I'm not going to be talking about a turntable or a component. I want to talk about what this stuff is for. Who is it for? It's an interesting question, right? Well, this is audio equipment, right? It's to make, to make sound. It's to make music. But why, why make this? Right? Because you don't need this. No one needs this to hear sound and music at this point. All I have to do is walk out on the street. And in certain shopping streets, they actually have poles with those speakers. Before you even go into the stores, you're hearing, you're hearing music. You go into a store, there's music playing, most probably. You go into a coffee shop, into a restaurant, into a bar, there's music playing from little speakers stuck in the walls and ceilings, you know, up in the corners, either annoyingly faintly or, or too loud, generally speaking. Music that, I, I didn't choose the music, it's not music I want to hear, it's everywhere. Then, of course, on the street in New York City, it's extremely loud. So you have a lot of noise. What is noise? Noise is sound that you don't want as opposed to signal. Um, so you're, you're, you're inundated and you're barraged with sound, noise, music all day. You go into your workplace and in all likelihood, if it's like the, the big open workplaces around my neighborhood here, they're really noisy and everyone is wearing headphones to carve out a little space for themselves in their heads. In other words, we're in this sort of defensive crouch of being subject to sound and noise that we don't really want at all. We don't like. But sound, hearing, is something that we, it's 24-7. We constantly are hearing sound. It's our most sort of dependable and, and, and important sense, it doesn't ever go off. Go to sleep, you're not seeing anything any, any longer or smelling anything longer. But, you know, evolving human beings, living in caves, living on the savanna, being able to hear even when you're asleep, being aware, this was an incredibly important, maybe the most important survival aspect that our senses have. We, we hear in the womb before we're born. The auditory cortex is the first part of the central nervous system that develops in the fetus. So when you were in your mother's body, you were hearing her body. I think this starts already from like six weeks or eight weeks. You were hearing her body and you were also hearing the music that she was listening to before you were born. And after you die, also, many cultures believe that, that hearing is the last sense to depart. The Tibetan Book of the Dead is actually called the Bardo Todrol. It's a very ancient tradition in Tibetan Buddhism. The belief is that while you are still, your corpse is still present, you are able to hear, even if you are gone, you're able to hear the instructions that someone reads to you about how to navigate the space between this life and the next reincarnation. Our hearing is incredibly good. It's our best sense. 24 frames a second, and you think with motion pictures that you're watching a movie, but you hear tens of thousands of times a second. This never goes off. So you have almost a superpower in your hearing. I'll talk about that in subsequent videos. And it's being subjected to an increasingly aggressive and toxic deluge of sound. It's really a polluted soundscape that we live in. So it's no wonder that when you come back home, the last thing that you want is to bring that type of, of intrusion into your, into, your, into your head with you. And this is one of the reasons why we don't 
live with high quality sound systems anymore. Ask yourself, how many people do you know that have a really great stereo system at home? Very, very few, almost no one. And the reason is because culturally, we've gotten to a point where we don't value sound, high quality sound anymore. We've taken music and we've lowered the quality of it so far to such junk and garbage. And then we've placed it everywhere because it sells, it sells stuff. So for commercial reasons, we've destroyed the quality of sound and music in our lives, put it everywhere, and this has made people turn off to even thinking about having sound, high quality sound in their lives, to listening to music. I call it a forgotten art, a lost art. So what is listening? It's very simple. We hear all the time, but of course we don't pay attention to it because you do not pay attention to things that are displeasing to you, that are annoying. You try and filter them out. So what we've developed is an entire sort of unconscious or subconscious with sound of closing it off because it really hasn't been anything that, that has added to our lives. Listening is hearing plus attention. Being present and giving yourself to the sound. And this is not something that people are really familiar with any longer. Because they're like, why would I give my attention to something like that? Meaning the kind of sound that's in their lives. Whether you have a distributed sound system or a little sound bar or a Sonos or an Alexa or even a pair of bookshelf speakers or something that, you, you know, people tell me, I have something, I have this kind of system or that kind of system, but I don't listen to it. And they think that they don't listen to it because they don't like music, or they don't listen to it because it's not giving them what they need. It's not worth paying attention to. I'll do some videos on that subject. That's a worth its own sort of episode in itself. But what I want to talk about is, is why listening is so important and why it's, it's something that, that you need to be thinking about in your lives because what we've done with our attention in general is fracture it, fragment it, and so we're constantly being distracted by this impulse, this, this, this thing that, 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 that requires our attention, our devices, our phones, the computers, and we've lost the ability to stay with something. Music does not reveal itself unless you are present and you give yourself to it. You're not going to do that with low quality sound equipment because the result, the sound that comes out, isn't worth your attention any more than you would watch a movie or a television set with most of the pixels dark. So if you, if you want to actually bring music back into your life, you have to give yourself to listening, which means being present and having the attention necessary that music demands. What we've done is we've taken music and we've turned it into a wallpaper, a background for our kind of selfie lifestyles. And in doing so, we're missing out on, on one of the greatest treasures that human culture and civilization have done, have created. And this is really nothing short of tragic. So in this series, I'd like to explore that and how, how to fix that.